first demonstration was in 2004 in Lisbon. Uh, and it started because we, Robocup had been to a soccer uh, competition all the time. Uh, and we realized that a lot of the, the methods that we use can broaden to other areas. Uh, and, and also for the public to see that the sort of stuff that we do in, in robotics isn't just about playing soccer, but it's also about things that help people. So in, in rescue, there's uh, locomotion over very complex terrain. Uh, there's perception, they have to be able to see uh, it, also this very complex terrain and recognize the victims. Um, they have to be able to plan to move around. They have to be able to make maps, which is very difficult. Um, recognize the victims is very difficult. And so and the teams can work either teleoperated or autonomously. Basically, uh, what is very important is the durability and the reliability of the robot that you're developing. Because you will give it eventually to the rescue team that they're going to rely on your technology. So the technology that you're developing should be reliable enough to make sure that, yeah, with this robot we can go and complete the task. The idea for Rescue Simulation League uh, was after the 1995 Kobe earthquake. The Japanese government decided to support research on disaster recovery and relief. And as a result of this, uh, Rescue Robot and Rescue Simulation League, the idea for these were born. In uh, some happens like earthquake or something like that, uh, people uh, need uh, some rob uh, smart robots in the future uh, to help people very uh, good and quickly and uh, it's so good for humans. Uh, we're coming here uh, to get experience uh, from the old ones and uh, uh, communicate with uh, the other teams and get experience from them. And uh, we can uh, do uh, so, uh, so many things that we have learned uh, from the um, university, our uh, measure, and uh, do it uh, real, um, like a real thing. And, um, Yes, uh, that is, uh, and we can get so many experience 